Hey guys, welcome to On Fire Roblox Scripting, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create a death message whenever you die in Roblox Studio. So let's just get right into it. So the first thing you want to do is go under the View tab and open up Explore and Properties. After that, we can go into the Starter GUI, click the plus, enter in a Screen GUI, click the plus, and enter in a frame. So this frame will be um, basically our death message background. So what we can do is go into the properties of it, scroll down, set the anchor point to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5, drag it back to the center, and then go into the size and write 1 comma 0 comma 1 comma 0. So this should fill up the entire screen. So now that we have our frame, this is the background of the death message. So you can customize it uh, however you want. So for example, uh, I'm just going to make it like a faint gray. And then I'm going to go into the background transparency and make it half transparent. So this is what my background is going to look like. Uh, but you can make yours however you want. So what you want to do next is um, put the actual death message. So you can go under the frame, click the plus, and enter in a text label. So same thing with the frame, we're going to go into the anchor point and just set it to 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Uh, and then you can basically write whatever you want. So for example, I can put one up here. And then under the text, I'm going to write you died dot dot dot. And then I'm going to make the text scaled. And then let's make it uh, white. And then I'm going to go into the background transparency. And I'm going to make it one. So right now it looks something like that. But I can, I can make it a little bit bigger. And then I'm going to make another one. A second one. I'm going to put that one in the middle. And then for the text I'm going to write uh, try harder next time. And then the text I'm going to make it uh, red. And then I'm going to change uh, the font to something random. Let's go with that. Sure. So it doesn't really matter how your death screen looks like. It could be anything as long as we have a frame. So once you finish making your death message, what you want to do is go into the screen GUI, click the plus, and enter in a local script. And after that, you can write what I write. The script will be in the description below, but if you want to learn how the script works, you can watch this segment. So we're going to start off with the, the variables first. So local death screen equals to script.parent.frame. So the frame over here is the frame that we just created. And then next up is local player equals to game dot players dot local player and then we're gonna go down line and we're gonna write local character equals to player dot character so we get the player from the client and then we get the player's character so after that we can go down two lines character colon wait for child and inside the brackets put a quotation marks and write humanoid outside of it write dot died colon connect brackets and then function and then brackets and then go down the line and then we can write death screen dot visible equals to true go down the line task dot wait and I'm gonna put in a three and then go down the line and then write death screen dot visible equals to false so what this means is when we discover that the character's humanoid has died we're going to um, make this visible and then we're gonna wait three seconds so that's what the three is so if you want to wait like two seconds just put a two uh, if you want to wait five seconds then put on a five uh, and then after that many seconds we're going to make this invisible again so the last thing we need to do is go under the frame inside the properties scroll down until you find visible and just uncheck it so now we can go test it out so here i am inside the game and if i just reset my character like this you can see it will say you died try harder next time and after three seconds it disappears and then uh, i'll respawn 
Uh, so you may have noticed uh, two little things. So number one, there was a, a little bit of a bar on the top. And number two, that it disappeared before I respawn. So the way to fix those things is first of all, in the local script, you can change the three seconds to match with uh, the time it takes to respawn. So you can search for how long it takes a player to respawn by going into players and then under the properties, respawn time. So the default is five seconds. So if you want it to match, just make sure that the number inside the task.wait matches with the number at respawn time. And then to fix the bar at the top issue, just make your frame visible again. For the size, just select 1.2 and drag the frame up until the bottom of the frame is at the bottom. So just like that. And then you can move the text down uh, to what you want it to be. And then this should fix uh, those problems. And then I reset my character. As you can see, it fills up the entire screen. And then since we match it with the respawn, when I respawn, uh, then it will disappear. So yeah, that'll be it for this tutorial. If you liked it, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And if you want to know how to make uh, the text in red uh, right here, randomized, then you can check out the extras video I created. It will show you how to randomize the text in red right here. Uh, and you can find that video in the description or at the end screen. But yeah, until then, I'll see you guys next time. Bye!